Welcome to worship at St Mark's Lutheran Church, Calamba. This is Pastor A. Morris. I'm very thankful that you've been able to join us for Church at Home. I'm also very thankful that we were able to meet face-to-face -face last week at several services and to celebrate Holy Communion together. The next time we'll be able to do that is on July the 19th and service bookings will be available very soon. So God bless your worship today as you continue to worship in this manner. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We confess to you, Almighty God, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed by our own fault. Have mercy on us for Jesus' sake. Forgive us all our sins and bring us to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, has had mercy on us and has given his only Son to die for us, and for his sake forgives us all our sins. To those who believe in his name, he has given the right to become children of God, and has given them his Holy Spirit. Whoever believes and is baptised will be saved. Grant this, Lord, to us all. Amen. So let us pray for the gift of compassion. Thank you, loving Heavenly Father, for setting us free from sin, so that we can willingly serve you. Open our eyes and hearts to see the needs of others and show them your compassion. Amen. The Gospel for today is written in Matthew chapter 10, verses 40 to 42. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person, will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Christ. As part of our setup for worship on every Sunday when we're meeting face to face, there would always be a glass of water placed on the altar and also one next to the pulpit. 
and as I went to the second service, there was always a glass of water there for me also. Little acts of kindness, but ones that I certainly greatly appreciated and looked after my needs. So as we listen to the sermon today, we'll also see that even a glass of water is a big thing in someone's life. So what do you make of this gospel reading for this week? I have to say that on my first read of the gospel reading from Matthew chapter 10, I came up a little bit empty. You see, with last week's predictions of suffering and persecution in mind from that gospel reading, which, by the way, we we put aside for our Thanksgiving Sunday, I first wondered whether this reading this Sunday is a little bit like a counterpoint, the promise of distant glory in contrast to last week's declaration of imminent struggle kind of a risk and then a reward assessment for discipleship. But it's much more than that, of course, isn't it? As Jesus is also talking about how the disciples then and now are drawn into relationship with God through their and our witness, our struggles and the acts of mercy we perform and are performed on our behalf. So while being a little bit empty to start with, Then this one line jumped out at me in this Gospel reading. The last line of this brief passage. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to the one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. What a little thing, don't you think? Just to give a cup of cold water. And Jesus emphasises the same by the use of the word even. We often imagine discipleship as requiring huge sacrifice or entailing great feats and sometimes that's exactly what discipleship comes to. But at other times, Jesus seems to say it's nothing more than giving a cup of cold water to one in need. Or listening to someone in need of a friend or offering a ride to someone without a car, or volunteering at the Meals on Wheels or the food bank, or making a donation to an agency like Lutheran World Services, and you get the idea. See, discipleship doesn't have to be heroic. Like all the small acts of care and kindness and forgiveness that go largely unnoticed, but they support the relationships that are most important to us so also the life of faith is composed of a thousand small gestures. Except that, according to Jesus, there is no small gesture. Anything done in faith and love has this cosmic significance for the ones involved and indeed for the world that God loves so much. You probably know as well as I do Lauren Isley's story of the star thrower. You know, the one about the man tossing starfish after starfish back into the sea. And when asked why, he replies, well, if they don't get back into the water soon, they'll dry out and die. And the questioner looks at the beach strewn with thousands and thousands of starfish. And he responds that, He can't possibly hope to make any difference. To which the star thrower says, and this is the famous closing line, to the ones I throw back it makes all the difference in the world. See, exactly. Because Jesus has promised to come in time and to save all in love, to fix all the damage, to heal all the hurts, to wipe the tears from every eye, We can, in the meantime, devote ourselves to acts of mercy and actions of compassion, small and large, not trying to save the world. Jesus has promised to do all that. But simply trying to care for the little corner of the world in which we've been placed. And so even a cup of cold water can make a huge and unexpected difference to those to whom we give it. And according to Jesus... Such acts have eternal and cosmic consequences. Can you imagine that, dear friends? That each and every act of mercy rings through the 
through the universe, saturated with Christ's love for the world, a love that we can share anytime and anywhere with gestures that may seem small in the eyes of the world, but loom large in the life of those who witness them. And you're already doing this. You are already, that is, in countless and myriad ways making the world that God loves so much a little better, a little more trustworthy, a little more joyful through your gestures of love, mercy and compassion. And I see them all the time. And there is no small gesture. And through your cups of cold water, through your phone calls, your text messages, your helping hands, your listening ears, you are caring for the world that God loves so much. And I thank God for all of you. So we respond to God's word as we confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. And we can say this together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let's pray for the church and the world. Heavenly Father, bring healing and comfort for people around the world suffering from coronavirus COVID-19. Speed their recovery and slow the spread of the virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for the efforts of all those involved in treating, testing and caring for patients and ask your protection over them as they go about their work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give wisdom to governments around the world as they manage this outbreak. We ask for your peace when we are tempted to panic or become anxious about this disease. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us to place our trust in you, knowing that our life is safely hidden in you and that you are the Lord of all creation. Enable us to show your love to others, sharing the hope we have in you, praying and caring for the sick and needy as best we can, in the name of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Protect all those who are travelling for business or for pleasure and bring them home safely. Give health to those struggling with sickness at this time. Show us your face in those we can help and meet the needs of those we now name silently in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your mercy, give us all these things and whatever else we need on our journey to our heavenly home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for worshipping with us today at St Mark's Lutheran Church Caloundra. We encourage you to share this video of the worship service with family and friends as we want to continue our connection as church at home with as many people as possible. Go in peace, not to serve sin, but to serve God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favour and give you his peace. Amen. Church, we lift our voice and pray.